Linux SSH Interview Question and Answers 1. What is SSH? How to check if a Linux server is running SSH? Answer for this question is SSH or Secure Shell is a cryptographic network protocol for operating network services securely over an unsecured network. SSH, or Secure Shell, is a remote administration protocol that allows users to control and modify their remote servers over the internet. An SSH server will have SSH daemon running. Depends on the distribution, you should be able to check whether the service is running, example. System CTL status SSHD. 2. Why SSH is considered better than Telnet? Answer for this question is. Telnet also allows you to connect to a remote host but as opposed to SSH where the communication is encrypted, in Telnet, the data is sent in clear text, so it doesn't consider to be secured because anyone on the network can see what exactly is sent, including passwords. 3. What is stored in slash dot SSH slash known underscore hosts? Answer for this question is. It will store keys of hosts access through SSH. 4. You try to SSH to a server and you get host key verification failed. What does it mean? Answer for this question is. It means that the key of the remote host was changed and doesn't match the one that's stored on the machine, in slash dot SSH slash known underscore hosts. 5. What is SSH port forwarding? Answer for this question is. SSH port forwarding is a mechanism in SSH for tunneling application ports from the client machine to the server machine, or vice versa. Linux boot process interview question and answers. 1. Tell me everything you know about the Linux boot process? Answer for this question is. There are six stages of Linux boot process, startup sequence 1. BIOS. BIOS stands for Basic Input Slash Output System. 2. MBR. MBR stands for Master Boot Record. 3. GRUB. GRUB stands for Grand Unified Bootloader. 4. Kernel. Mounts the root file system as specified in the root equals in grub.conference. 5. Init. 6. Run level programs. 2. What is GRUB2? Answer for this question is. GRUB stands for Grand Unified Bootloader. If you have multiple kernel images installed on your system, you can choose which one to be executed. GRUB displays a splash screen, waits for few seconds, if you don't enter anything, it loads the default kernel images specified in the GRUB configuration file. GRUB has the knowledge of the file system, the older Linux loader Lilo didn't understand file system. GRUB configuration file is slash boot slash GRUB slash GRUB dot conference, slash etc slash grub dot conference is a link to this. 3. What is Secure Boot? Answer for this question is, Secure Boot is a UEFI feature that only allows signed operating systems to work, which can help protect you from malware. Aside from checking your BIOS, you can check system information within settings to see if your system supports Secure Boot. 4. What are init levels look at the slash etc slash initub file to decide the Linux run level? Following are the available run levels. 0. Halt, i.e. the system can be safely powered off with no activity. 1. Single user mode. 2. Multi-user, without NFS. 3. Full multi-user mode. 4. Unused. 5. X11. 6. Reboot. Please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.